was first launched 42 years ago, 24 days from now, the final chapter of the epic series, The Rise of Skywalker. And last night, director J.J. Abrams talked about it all with a blockbuster ad during the AMAs. The very first time I saw the word Star Wars. 217, take nine. And three, two, one, action. Well, I was 11 years old. It was in a magazine. And I remember seeing the words and saying aloud, Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Have you even seen Star Wars? She's never seen Star Wars. Here's some money. Go see a Star Wars. Star Wars is just an important part of everyone's history. And J.J. Abrams joins us right now. Welcome back. So the first moment you heard Star Wars, and now it's all coming to an end. Isn't that crazy? It is a little crazy. <laughs> is the movie done? Uh, just. <laughs> Yesterday. Yes, like, yeah. <laughs> and he's still here yeah. this morning. Oh my God. Uh, yes, it's done. It's done. So uh, now people have to see it. And you were really—I mean, reshooting right up, right up through October. Well, don't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean we—we we, this happened last time as well. We do, you know, you see th something, you think, oh, you know what? That could be a little clearer. That could be a little bit better. And and it's if you have the ability to fix the piece, you take advantage yeah. of that. Yeah, and you—you've you've said that endings are scary. Yeah. To you. How scary was this? Well, it was scary. Part, part of it was scary because, you know, I care about it so much. Part of it was it's, it's an ending not of three films, but of nine films. And it, it means a lot to a lot of people, and, and us included. So, um, you know, we, we felt the pressure, but the opportunity was always greater than the, the challenge. And now you all get to see a little bit of it. Set, tell us what we're going to see right here. <clears throat> uh, th this is a, a sequence early in the movie when our character's adventure just is beginning, and, uh, and they get into a little bit of trouble. Okay, let's look. We spotted the fugitives. Sneaky. And it's just a little bit of time. A little bit. <laughs> and then it goes right to end titles. So it's a very strange movie. <laughs> how, how much should everybody know about the end while you were filming? Um, well, the, the actors knew. I mean, it was, the, the security is, is insane. I mean, the, the, the company, they, they were really nervous about anything getting out. And so, you know, they, they had only a handful of scripts and they were printed on crazy, uncopyable paper. And it was, uh, and then one of our actors, and I'm not going to say which one. I want to, but I won't, uh, <laughs> left it under <clears throat> their bed, and it was found by someone who was cleaning their place. And it was g given to someone else who then went to sell it on eBay. Whoa. And someone at the company said, you know, there's a script that looks like it's a legit script that's for sale on eBay. And, uh, it, so you it, bought it. And, and so, um, no, and, and they got it back before it sold. So with all the security, uh, you got to be careful of, of... We get a little bit of a taste of that. Whenever there's a, like a, a preview or a trailer, automatically hundreds of thousands of people on the Internet are figuring everything out about the movie, or think they are. Yes. Yeah, no, it, 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 well, it's incredible how much... And, and I'm, of course, only grateful that people care enough to look into this stuff and, and want it, but it's amazing how much people read into the small details, and which is the key to doing a movie like this, which is that you want to make sure the details have meaning and, and matter because you know that they're going to be scrutinized like crazy. No question about it. Last year you posted, of course, that uh, Instagram about Carrie Fisher, how it was bittersweet mm. to be filming this final episode without her, but she did find an ingenious way to work her into the film. Well, it was impossible for us to figure out how to tell the, the end of the Skywalker saga without Leia. She's such an, an important character, and Carrie, whom I, I loved, uh, you know, she, we needed to have her in the movie somehow, and we realized that there were probably five or six scenes that we'd never used from uh, The Force Awakens. And we went back and looked at the footage and realized we could tell the story, we could create scenes with her, but we did it in a really interesting way where we, we used her footage and then everything we did in the scene was built around, written around, lit around what we had of her. Um, and there are some scenes with her that are, I think, really moving, and I, I, it's still impossible for me to believe she's not here. We've been working with her in the editing room now for almost a year, um, and she's vital and she's there and she's 
funny in spirit. She's Leia in this movie. It's, it's sort of surreal. Well, we cannot wait to see it. JJ, thanks for coming in. Okay. Cannot wait to see it. Final chapter of the Skywalker Saga, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, comes out on December 20th. Everyone in our audience going home with two tickets to see it courtesy of <laughs> GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.